Thousands gathered at the starting point of the 42-kilometer race. At stake is a $50,000 prize money for the overall winner in the men's category and another $50,000 for the overall winner in the women's category. And as the whistle goes, thousands surged forward. They run through different parts of the city, determined to cross the finish line. Organizers say around 100,000 from across the world were taking part in this race, which is its third edition. After more than two hours of running, Kayan Abraham Kiprotich was the first to cross the finish line in a time of two hours, 13 minutes, four seconds, following on his heels two other Kayans, Ronnie Kibos and Benjamin Bitok. And in the women's category, it was Ethiopia 1 2 3, with Alemenes Guter crossing the finish line first. I'm coming to Nigeria for competition, and so I'm so glad, I'm so happy. And uh, I would like to say uh, thank you for Nigeria and thank you for organization. Thank you for the governor of uh, Nigeria and, and the bank of uh, what is that? Access, bank. Access Bank. I'm so happy. I come here to see, to, to compete, and uh, I'm so happy for being the winner. And thank you very much. Ilya Palm was the first Nigerian to cross the finish line. Honestly, uh, last year I came, I was the first Nigeria and this year I come to defend my title, which I still come face. And this race is very important to me for the common world trials. And I am happy because I reduced my time. Last year I ran two hours, 30 minutes, but this third edition, I ran two hours, 27 minutes. I'm feeling good, excited, happy for me to be a winner of this race among the Nigerian athletes. And I thank God for what he has done for me this morning. I was not even thinking that I will be among the medalists because I was in injury. And I thank the Almighty God that he do it for me this morning to be among the winners. The top three in the male category were given cash prizes of $50,000, $40,000 and $30,000 respectively. It's in prize money in the female category as well. There were special prizes for the top three Nigerians in the male and female categories. There were also prizes for non-professionals who competed in a special 10-kilometer race. The winners were awarded cars, courtesy of GAC Motors. We are the official car partner and sponsor for this city, uh, Nago City's Marasso. And we represented the GAC Moto, which is from China, and to be the part of the sponsorship. Yeah, we can see it is a very good, um, very good campaign, and it is a massive uh, people to participate. And definitely we will be encouraged to do the next sponsorship. It's the third time this marathon will be holding since Governor Akimumi Ambodi took office in Lagos. It's been certified bronze by the IAAF, but the governor is aiming for more than that. We've had over 100,000 participants today, and then we've almost, in all the records, we've broken all the records of last year, and we're very excited about this. Yes, this is the bronze level. The intention is to take this to the gold level in the next two years, and we know we can do this. This is more about the energy of Lagos, beyond the fact that we are able to show the aesthetics and improvements that we've done in the last two and a half years. Lagos is getting better, and Lagos is getting more enjoyable. I know we are going to do this again next year, and then come Saturday, 9th February 2019, we are going to have a bigger marathon and bigger prizes. Now, my promise to Nigeria is this. I'm tired of giving this old race to the East Africans. So Lagos State is going to commit professional coaches, and then we go to Joss, and then when we come back in two years' time, we'll give them a fight for their money. 
Nigerians will be hoping the governor's plan does come to fruition. Yet for now, the East Africans remain the dominant force in the sport.